Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I will be showing you how to capture awesome video by just using an iPhone. Hit that intro! Nowadays, the chances are high that the phone you carry with you records video. I'm using an iPhone X that can record up to 4K 60 frames per second or 1080p 240 frames per second. Now, I prefer to record in a 4K 60 frames per second because 4K gives me sharper image that allows me to crop in when I want to adjust the framing and 60 frames per second is enough for me to give it a nice slow motion look when played back on a 24 frames per second timeline. And adding some image stabilization in Final Cut Pro will make it even smoother. Last week in my video, I talked about that gear does not matter. So today I thought I would challenge myself, but also prove to you that even with a smartphone or iPhone, you can achieve a great look. So with no further ado, let me show you my process of how I do it. All right, let's first set the settings on the iPhone so we can record in 4K 60 frames per second. And if you don't have 4K 60 frames per second, then choose 1080p 60 frames per second. The important thing is that you shoot slow motion so you can slow it down in post-production to give it that uh, slow motion look. When adding stabilization, it gives you even a smoother looking footage. And because we're shooting handheld everything, it can be challenging to keep your hands steady. So what you wanna do is go to settings, then select camera and here select record video and you have the different options and I chose 4K at 60 frames per second. So the next thing I do is I think about the location. So I chose to be here. It's a forest and there are a lot of interesting stuff happening as well. So the time of day we have is 12 p.m. Usually I avoid shooting during midday because the sun is at its highest point and you get that harsh light on your face but because it's cloudy the clouds function as a huge diffuser softening that light so we can definitely work with that i think this would be a great opening shot for the video i'm gonna make a revealing shot so what i really like are those leaves flowing on the river. So I will also take a shot of that. There's a swan behind my back and I'm gonna try to take a video of that nice looking swan. It's a dog over there. Beauty. <laughs> Did you see that? I just got a really nice shot. That's gonna look really nice. So in this shot, I will record my dirty shoes walking through these beautiful leaves. So next, what I wanna do is take a close up of those leaves and the nice part about it is that the sun is behind illuminating it from the back and I just love lighting subjects when the light is in the back. You'll see what I mean. So I picked this bridge because it shows the leading lines, focuses the attention of the viewer towards the subject. I placed my iPhone on top of the tripod just to get a still shot of myself walking across the bridge and hopefully some leaves will fall off the trees to give that epic cinematic look. All right, so we are done recording our video. We're gonna head back to my office and import everything into Final Cut Pro X. Whoa. Sorry about that. I actually decided to edit the video first so that I can show you the steps behind my editing process. 
So what I first did is I airdropped all of my footage from my iPhone into my computer to a project folder and imported all of the clips into Final Cut Pro X. Now a quick tip, because everything is shot in 4K 60 frames per second, my computer has a hard time editing it. So what I do is I create a new project that is set to 1080p 60 frames per second. After the edit, I change the project settings to 4K 60 frames per second and export it in that format. The next thing I do is I select the best portion of the clip and set an in and out point and drop it into the timeline. I then slow each clip down to around 50%. Even though slowing the clip down makes the footage look smoother, additionally adding stabilization will increase the smoothness of the clip. I then reorganize all of the clips so that it tells some kind of a story. For example, I knew that the revealing shot would be my opening shot. So I place that at the beginning of the timeline. I choose the ending shot to be me walking across the wooden bridge. I already selected the music that would fit the mood of the story. Music is one of the most important thing to consider because it enhances the story you are telling and makes it easier, at least for me, to edit. So I dropped the music into the timeline and shortened it to fit it to the length of the video clip. Now I also added sound effects that sets the tone of the entire video that pulls the viewer in. Now as I said earlier, because we shot in 4K, it gives me the ability to crop in without losing much detail if exported in 1080p. Now I want this clip to export in 4K, so I have to be careful to crop in not too much. In this case, the reason I want to crop in is to adjust the framing of the video to give it a nice composition. You want to make sure you compose your shot also before editing, meaning during the shoot. After that, I color correct all of the footage. I added a lot to the adjustment layer to give it a nice overall look. To make it even look more cinematic, I added a letterbox to the whole video as well as some tiles and voila, we are done. Once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this type of video, please leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I think that went quite well.